Hey gamers, Foxtrot here with some more Life is Strange. Um, I'm doing some spring cleaning, uh, and so all the walls are completely bare once more, uh, and there's like a lot of blankets and stuff there. <laughs> so, sorry for the mess and everything, but it will be clean at some point. I spent almost all day yesterday cleaning. Uh, I had a physical, uh, so I'm healthy. It's all good. We're all good. We're all healthy. Uh, we left off at uh, the Whale's Diner, so that'll be fun to see what happens. Um, and yeah, we got my water here. Got everything all set up. Whales. So I'm guessing we have whales where we live. Just guessing. <sighs> Whale! Yep, the two whales diner. Let's see if we can spot. Talk about going oh, back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. I want to talk to these people. Yep, I'm ready to cash my lottery ticket. Glad somebody is. Don't try to take it from me. She looks busy and stressed. I wouldn't dream of it. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. Steals my lottery. Can't wait to be rich. He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay, crusty. <laughs> crusty Look at sure. all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Yep, yeah, but we don't care about that, do we? You look creepy. And we're going in. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. Dang. Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Back in Japan. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. 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 Cute. A lot of missing Rachel posters. Oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. So running late, grab a booth at diner, mom will feed you, somebody better, I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. These fishermen are so damn quiet. You're dating. I always wonder what people think about when they eat alone. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Ew. Leaflets, leaflets, leaflets. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. True. True. Very true. That graffiti has been here forever. <laughs> Flush your flippers on the floor. Gross. Why not? We're a photographer. Thank you, redneck poet. <laughs> Ew, that guy looks unpleasant. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. Yeah, I bet. I wouldn't last one day as a trucker. Those rigs are too damn big. Truckers have such a romantic life. Always on the road. Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. Justin is such a mellow dude. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. <laughs> Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked, so I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? 
school. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. <laughs> hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. Sounds like my high school. in class, Max. Thanks, man. Can I get a... Oh, but I want this one. I like the corner boost. Guitar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she seems so overworked. And there she is. A lovely young woman. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> Now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Mm. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Uh, I don't like omelets. I know, I'm weird. I hate omelets. I don't like the texture, so I'll go with the waffle. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. <laughs> Nerd graffiti. Warren must. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Yeah, makes sense. Hmm. 
This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. <laughs> the lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Agreed. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? Just gonna, just gonna drink. What? Ugh. But coffee. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a babe. Oh, that does look good. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. <laughs> Speak of the devil. <laughs> nice. Chloe and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? I put it on. Excuse me. Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Oops. Oh, I can't, um... Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. You definitely have a razor blade keychain. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. <laughs> I was kind of scared. Oh, it could have been a bullet because of her necklace. That was beyond epic fail. You made me want to believe you. So... Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Okay, so she's got a panda bear keychain, pack of cigarettes, change, and a speed ticket, right? Out of parking bay, you are causing an obstruction to the roadway. Do not park. Okay, so she got a parking ticket. Okay, cool. I think we can do this. Okay. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Half a pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'd say seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. That Amazing. was so good. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. It's a panda. <laughs> a cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? It was... Oh, God. Um... 
11, 10 a.m. That is so Damn. wrong. Okay, psychic. Okay, I gotta see this again. I'm really bad at this sometimes. Okay, Max. Study so we know the panda. You know that's seven. Don't forget anything. Okay, that's 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 1034. Okay. Oh, that. Do you No. Something goes on. This is me telling you. Okay, Max. Money, 86. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Cigarettes, seven. I'm pretty sure you have. Yes, you know I'm a. Seven. Okay. I like this. Amazing. Parking ticket, 1034. A parking ticket. You know me well. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. And keys. Your car keys. Duh! Way too easy! A cute robot panda keychain. No. Baseballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. <laughs> Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more, something way cooler, so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. She waves, walks over, she <clears throat> drops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. Okay, I'm so. Finishing it. She waves, walks over. He breaks a cup of coffee. She's walking in. He's his my partner drives away. They end up fighting. That's the best song I've this heard is sure yet. the hell better than And then the girl garbage. that's crazy or weird or anything. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Um The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor fight, and Joyce beats them. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. I think I'm getting this all wrong. Can I go back? Oh god. <laughs> I got some box goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Well, it doesn't, and so I'm gonna rewind all the way back. Oh, no. Damn. Okay. I'm going to predict. Okay, so we know the trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug, and... So, what happens next? Okay. Yep, the cop gets an emergency... There is that. Well, let's just see how... The and then...
Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And then... The jukebox goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens. I feel like, like I still got it wrong anyway. Waves. Oops. Dude, did you right? break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think don't not, Max. Me, bitch. Take the fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. This is a sad day in Maxville. This is sure the hell oh, okay, I see the cockroach, so I was right the first time. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. Okay, so it's the partner that asked where his- It's the guy that asked where his partner is. Okay, I was confused. So, I'm technically I wasn't right the first time. The trucker- Yep, so. yep. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just... And then... Justin and Trevor... This is getting... Okay. The jukebox goes crazy. Okay, I got this now. I am so bad at these. Sorry for the steam. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait, really? no, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called him. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. But you never finished your waffle. And you never paid. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Should I speak to her? Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and what to do. Come on, before Mom spreads some more shit. Let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. You know what? Yeah, I will answer, because you were being a hey jerk. Kate, what's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Gosh, check out some attachment issues. <sighs> Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer oh. Kate. It's not like I won't see her in class later. I don't care. If you're, I feel like if she reruns too much, she's gonna hurt herself. So, we're done with this one. So we're gonna stop here.
I might not. And yeah, so if you have not become a gamer yet today, I suggest clicking down on the subscribe button down below and become one right now. Uh, leave a like and a comment, and I shall see you in the next episode. Stay foxy. Bye.